um, let's have a talk about the Bulgarian market with George in order to uh, give you also uh, a better view on how this collaboration can uh, help you, can support you achieve your targets. Thank you, Vagelis. Hi, everybody. Hi, George. Welcome, welcome on this webinar. It is our, my pleasure to, to have you here as a host. And it is also my pleasure to have this, uh, to, to have started this uh, cooperation between Brandmark and Kivos for the last, uh, for the last year. Um, so let's start with an introduction. Uh, I, I would ask you to tell us a little bit more about Brandmark, uh, Brandmark offering, please, and about your, your history. Uh, very well. <clears throat> Brandmark uh, is an independent agency and we are providing branding and marketing solutions for the retail business. Our main focus are retail companies. Uh, nevertheless, they uh, possess their own uh, network of stores or uh, they uh, use uh, an existing of their, uh, such of their uh, partners. Our collaboration with Kivos uh, allows us to combine our experience of the Bulgarian market with uh, the needs and the requirements of uh, uh, our uh, clients. Initially, uh, we started as a production focused agency, but during the years, our customers' de de demands and the evolution of their strategy um, allow us to, to grow as a leading retail marketing agency. And uh, now, with our collaboration with Tivos, uh, we are expanding our services in the digital solution world. Uh, what finally I would like to say is that uh, through this journey, uh, we remain committed to our core value. We always play our clients and their uh, customers' expectations and the center of what we do, what we think, what we mean, and what we believe. That's perfect, uh, George. And uh, let me just share with the whole audience uh, how critical it is the fact that we share the same values and uh, it's great to hear from you uh, the whole staff uh, and i think a competitive advantage for both of us uh, while trying to introduce all these new things uh, in the bulgarian market because the time is quite challenging and my next question would be on your opinion, what are the main challenges in Bulgarian market specifically for the retailers and the brands that we are working with today? Uh, this is uh, this is very hot uh, topic, uh, not only for the world, but for Bulgaria. All participants will agree that yesterday was a very important day in this direction. Uh, but I will not go in politics. I would just um, summarize that the main challenge nowadays for both uh, consumers and businesses is the rapidly changing environment. Mm -hmm. The COVID epidemic, the raw material shortage, price increase, the political instability, all these have recently added to, to the global picture. But uh, what is the most important is also the shift in the consumer attitudes. The shift that provides uh, the most uh, effective drive for the business and uh, for society. The technology, technological advancements also uh, resulted in the emergence of a new kind of the consumer. One that is actively seeking uh, for brands and for benefits and is uh, searching for a real value for, in their offers. He also uh, search for real support in their life understanding and that's why uh, very often companies uh, change their business they change their offer just based on this uh, very important fact today customers are becoming more and more demanding and they're engaging in many ways with the companies offline and online and uh, words like uh, customer service creative thinking innovative approaches uh, new digital tiers, 
new digital tools. These words are not uh, empty now, and uh, every company that wants to stay in the business and to continue uh, in the future must invest, must build stronger relationship, uh, relationships with uh, their customers. I totally agree. And uh, if I may share our experience coming from different uh, regions uh, where we actually have uh, customers, uh, what we see is an increasing appetite from the consumers for what is called smart buying. And smart by smart buying, we mean actually the fact that consumers are looking for the, of course, for the best value, for the best price, they need they want to be rewarded for you know for everything that they do and they also they are also seeking for personalization and experiences that are related to their uh, profile and this is something that can be actually it, it is valid not only in our region but in every other region that we are working with this is uh, this is something that uh, you know uh, we can see every single day now uh, what do you think will be the added value that Kivos and Brandmark uh, collaboration will bring to the local market, to the Bulgarian market? So if, we, if you try to make this more, let's say, uh, detail. Uh, I'll continue from uh, my, my previous words. Uh, I strongly believe that uh, this collaboration is the most effective response to the challenging business climate and to the shifting customer expectations. Mm. Uh, our most valuable assets are knowledge and expertise. Our service combines what Kivos can bring on the table in means of in-depth knowledge of what motivates customers and also how to build loyalty with the customers. And this combined with Brandmark's understanding of the local marketplace and our com uh, competence in a variety of retail communications and activities. Uh, that way, uh, we will be able to respond quickly mm -hmm. and to provide a better solution for each individual needs because you might, you might must admit that each company is in a different segment, with different challenges, different uh, customer expectations. Uh, I think that uh, our combined efforts uh, will unpack uh, an endless opportunities for each of our uh, clients. We can create um, experience uh, for loyalty of today. We can engage uh, uh, and customers uh, on a multiple dimensions. Uh, we can do that on a regular basis. And uh, in return, our customer clients will grow uh, their business and scale up their profits. That's right. And um, if I may add something on this, because I, I really I find this, uh, this approach really uh, solid. Uh, Th that's why in Kivos we decided several years ago that we want to, um, let's say, reach new markets through local partnerships like the one that we have together because we saw, we saw that we can combine our technology stack that enables all the strategies with local expertise from your side uh, local expertise on the local market because every single market has you know its own specialities characteristics the culture even tone of voice everything so combining the technology and the best cases and the best practices that we can bring from you know country to country with the local expertise of people like you george uh, it will create a really uh, a, a great uh, advantage for uh, the local market for the customers there and uh, having been working with countries from starting from UK and uh, UAE and um, uh, you know Saudi Arabia etc up, up to Albania uh, Bulgaria Romania and so on, so uh, uh, so on we see that this really works really fine and I hope and I'm totally confident that we will bring this value also with you 
in the, in the Bulgarian market. Thank you, Bernays. This is exactly what we think and what we do also. So, thank you very much, George. That was a really quick one. However, I, th I, I think it was juicy uh, for our audience. Um, uh, Costadina, uh, let, let, let us get back to you. I don't know if there are any questions there that needs to be answered and we will be here to, to address them. First, thank you both of you uh, for all the info and the insights you provided. And um, before closing, let me share an interesting question that we did had from our participants. How often does a brand need to run additional marketing activities to keep the consumers engaged? Ah, okay. That's a tricky one. <laughs> uh, I, I would say that, you know, there is not a magic number uh, on this. However, what we try to avoid, uh, and um, I think that this is, the, uh, this is the most important thing, is to keep the communication, first of all, relevant, because if it is relevant, it will, it will not annoy anybody. Uh, but then we need to keep the communication discreet, which means no more than two or maximum three uh, messages uh, via different channels per month. Uh, if, we, if we need to say something to our audience, to our customers, uh, we can deliver this uh, through the right channel, through the, uh, at the right time, uh, no more than two or three uh, times per month. Now, it depends sometimes on the product or on the industry. Uh, so, for instance, if the industry is an FMCG with uh, a lot of offers uh, during the, uh, the month, might might uh, increase this number. If the industry is, let's say, a fashion where we do know that customers buy three, maximum four times per year, uh, then this number might also decrease. So it depends a little bit on the on the industry and uh, there are best practices uh, for uh, every single sector and every single channel that we use. Uh, talking about channel, it's totally different story when you share a message through Viber or an SMS to the mobile phone uh, versus to email, which is a more soft, let's say, a channel that you can uh, have uh, more frequently uh, activities and uh, communication. I don't, know, I don't know, George, if you want to add something on this based on your experience in the local market. Yes, uh, this is uh, exactly what I think. Uh, what I might add here is that the customer journey mapping is another tool that mm. can help in uh, answer uh, uh, such question and discover more relevant values. It depends uh, how often and how many stages uh, uh, you would con contact the, the customer and how many touch points you have in this journey. Sure, a great point. Costadina. Pretty clear. Uh, so uh, another webinar comes to an end. Thank you both and all the participants as well. Have a nice evening from me and uh, see you at our next uh, webinar session. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. Thank keep you. keep the nice Thank job you. done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.